Hi friends, I'm Vandana Rai from Immigration Advisors New Zealand Limited. I'm here today to elaborate upon the recent changes in the post-study work right scenario for international students here in New Zealand. Getting a lot of queries, a lot of questions, a lot of phone calls. So I thought better that I make a video and just spread the word around so that all my clients, the international students can just relax and not worried about how this policy would affect them. So let's let's take scenarios. If you are an international student and you are currently studying a course in New Zealand or your visa application is under process with immigration, how does this change affect you? Just relax, good for you. Instead of one year work visa, one year post-study work visa open, you get a three year work visa open. Perfect. Don't even have to apply for an employer assisted later on. Uh, straight away you move on and get a three year open work visa. It doesn't affect you negatively in any way. Just relax. So if you are an, on an open work visa and you had to apply for a post study work visa employer assisted, if your visa is expiring before 26th of November, you still have to apply for an employer assisted visa because this comes into place on 26th November. So you have to apply for a post-study work visa employer assisted but after 26th of November you can choose to get the employer's name removed from your visa so you really don't have to get a VOC or a variation of condition done every time you want to switch over or change your employer. Perfect way, perfect to stop the employer's exploitation. So just relax, doesn't affect you in any way. After this visa, you are entitled a two-year visa. You would definitely get it if your employer assisted visa is approved and gives you additional flexibility to move on between the employers after 26th of November. Scenario three, if you are in, on an open work visa and your uh, post-study work visa open expires after 26th of November, don't even have to find a job which is relevant to your studies. Just apply for another two years of an open work visa. So you just relax if you're not if you're wondering whether my job is relevant to my studies or not. Just relax after 26th of November. Just apply for another open work visa. You get it for two more years. So another way of stopping um, the exploitation for the international students by employers. Is that clear? Okay. Move on to the scenario four. So if you are a prospective student uh, planning to do a level eight program and with this news are concern, uh, really concerned on whether your partner uh, or your dependent children would be eligible for, uh, for a work visa or not. So for, for all those students, the, the changes get implemented after 26th of November. That means any application accepted by Immigration New Zealand by 26th of November for a level 8 program uh, entitles the, the partner of the student for a work visa, the dependent child for a dependent status student visa, provided their application is later on approved and the person comes to study in New Zealand. After after 26th of November, only the students who would be doing a level 8 program in an area which is in a skill shortage, only their partners would get a work visa. The other partners would be eligible for a dependent visitor visa. Uh, however, the, the students who are coming for a master's program, whether they apply before 26th of November or even after 26th of November, their partner would always be eligible for a partnership based work visa and the children would always be eligible for a dependent child status student visa. So what I feel is that this policy really attracts skilled international students um, for studying in New Zealand and also protects all the rights of our existing, existing international students. So, just a message to spread the word around that existing students please relax this policy protects you from all exploitation and it also protects all your work rights thank you so much